I had a lot of you ask about Sword Flash Shia's PvE damage, so I may still show her off in Broken Spaces, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think, but I will show her off against the Arc Boss, and I am currently on... Sorry, wrong button. We are currently in, I believe, Sector Chaos. Okay, so it's going to be a slightly suboptimal team since Marbles isn't really built for this, but I'm going to run a V4 Sword Flash Shia, Full Resonance, Radiant Antler's Cane, Attack, Attack, Soulstone, and fairly standard setup. Um, I want her to not get CC'd or die too quickly. And she's running crit, crit damage, and holy attack imprints. Then I'm going to bring 9-star Drake, 9-star Olivia, a 6-star Death Sworn for fire, a V1 Rogan for more support and damage, and then I'm going to try both the Amon Ra and the Belrain. Um... Bellring would give us more damage, but I think Amon Ra will be needed for the survivability. We'll have to see. So let's find the current boss I'm attacking. Actually, I believe this is the Void Lord from the last sector. So let's drop all of these. We're going to run the Phoenix, obviously, since we're bringing the Death Sworn. And then we'll run Drake and Olivia. We'll run them behind the Rogan. And we'll try Amon Ra first, see how that goes. And then I'll show off what the Bellring looks like instead. So Amon Ra will keep everyone alive a little longer, but actually we will also run the Ignis instead to get the Sword Flash, that immediate CC removal. That should help. I forgot I built an 8-star Ignis that we can maybe push 9-star right now. So as you see, she can survive fairly well and does some decent damage. Here's the Phoenix buff and an active. 264 million on the last hit is not bad at all. The Rogan and the Amon Ra are going to go down now. Shia will be shortly behind, I'm guessing. In the end, that fairly suboptimal setup did 1.2 billion from the Shia. Not terrible. Let's bring in the Ignis and see if we can't support her a bit more. We do have... Yeah, let's just push the Ignis. We'll, we'll deal with that Karam later. Nine Star Ignis is going to give her a little bit better CC protection. We'll just feed Destroyers. Um, so now we will bring the Ignis instead and she will be there to... Um, get her that immediate CC removal. So we did 1.2 billion last time. We still need the Death Thorn. We are going to drop the Olivia since she is not that great at um, this level. We can just throw the Death Star in the last slot. It does not matter. So this should be better. She will get a bit more CC, DR, and also damage in general, assuming the Ignis gets an active off. That Rogan may actually be a liability as well at 9 star. He does get off a black hole, but only one turn, it's not going to really add up to much. Yeah, I think the, the Bell Ring will be a better play as well. We'll do that for the last one. Only 944 million, so we actually lost some damage from the Olivia, which makes sense. Last run, let's swap him out. We will run Rogan here so that Rogan gets healed by the Bell Ring, and let's bring our Bell Ring. This one should be close to 1.5 billion, but hopefully it shows that, like, honestly, our, uh, Arshia is carrying this pretty pretty mediocre team and still doing, I mean, billions of damage. She is going to be a bit better than a Thakwa without support. So if you have her, I would definitely run her. Um, if you have a full support team, the Thakwa will likely be better. But, I mean, it's going to be pretty comparable at that point if you have full support. As you see, the Bellring is going to be healing the Shia over time. So we are going to live much longer. Rogan might go down. Nope, he does catch a Bellrain heal. Our Amon Ra is getting another layer of shields. Oh, we still die in round six, but another 1.2 billion. So not bad at all. We did some decent damage. Hopefully that shows off the power of Sword Flash Shia and PVE, but let me know if you do want to see a Broken Spaces video with her anyway. For more of my beginner guides and tutorials, you can check out this playlist in the top left corner. If you want to watch my orange artifact free to play tier list, check out this video up here in the top right corner. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if I've provided you with any value and help me grow this channel.